Welcome back to Mason Talks. So it is about to be week 16 of the 2018 NFL season, and the Cleveland Browns are still alive. They are still in the hunt. With their 6-7-1 record, the Browns still could make the playoffs. So today I wanted to talk about how the Cleveland Browns can still make it to the NFL playoffs. It would be tough. It's nearly impossible. A lot of people say a miracle needs to happen. But, mathematically speaking, still in the hunt. So today I wanted to talk about how the Browns could still make the playoffs. It's very complicated, but it still could happen. So let's just start out with step number one. Probably the simplest step of all. The Browns, in order to make the playoffs, will need to win out. The Browns cannot lose either of their last two games. Week 16, Browns will be playing the Bengals. Week 16 or week 17, they play the Ravens. Two teams that the Browns have already beaten this year. The Bengals absolutely should be a beatable team. I expect the Browns to beat the Bengals earlier in the season. The Browns absolutely slaughtered the Bengals in Cincy. Jeff Driscoll, not necessarily the best starting quarterback in the NFL. And it'll be the Browns. Home finale for the season, last home game. And the Browns are carrying a lot of momentum going into this game after beating the Broncos on national TV, winning four out of their last five. The Browns just have a lot going for them going into this game, so they absolutely should be able to beat the Bengals, and I expect them to. Week 17 will be more tough. The Ravens have been playing great. Uh, They still definitely are alive to make the playoffs. They have a lot better of a chance than the Browns. But they beat the Ravens earlier in the season as well. That was without Lamar Jackson. But still, I think they could beat both of these teams. I think it definitely could happen. You know, I, I actually expect it to happen. I do think the Browns will win their last two games and finish 8-7-1, uh, above 500 technically, I think. So I think that'll happen. That's just step one. That's the probably the least complicated step. Step two involves the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins, who also are still alive, looking to get a wild card spot. The Browns need the Dolphins to win or to lose one of their last two games. They need to lose against either the Jacksonville Jaguars or the Buffalo Bills. That's a little tough. (laughs) The Jaguars and Bills are not necessarily the best teams in the NFL. After an abysmal start, the Bills have finished off a little bit more strong, but still probably are not as good as the Dolphins. Jacksonville has been atrocious this year. Definitely not as good as the Dolphins. One of those two teams needs to just pull through for us. You know what I mean? Like, it'll be like last year when the Bengals uh, saved the Bills' playoffs chances by beating, uh, I think it was uh, the Ravens. Uh, so we just need that to happen. We just need we just need Jacksonville or Buffalo to save our seasons. It, it, it's not it's not that complicated. Uh, you know Miami. I mean they're not Miami's not even some great team. Like they should absolutely be able to beat them once. <laughs> I, I I really need uh, Cody Kessler to pull through for me right here. So that's step two. Miami has to lose one of two. Step three. In week 16, the Baltimore Ravens need to lose their game against the Los Angeles Chargers. Very possible. Chargers look legit. They look like a Super Bowl contender. Uh, Phillip Rivers has them playing great. Baltimore needs to lose to them. That's absolutely possible. I d- that definitely could happen. Chargers are a really good team. It sucks that they have to play in L.A., though. They're getting overshadowed by uh, every other team in L.A. <laughs> like, literally every team that's ever... Every team from anywhere overshadows the Chargers, which is sad because they're they're not terrible. I, the Chargers are a good team. I think they could win the Super Bowl. Step number four. Tennessee and the Indianapolis Colts both must lose in Week 16. Now, Tennessee and the Colts, sadly, are both pretty good teams. <laughs> They, they, they've both been playing well. Uh, the Colts, of course, are probably going to... I would like to see... The, if, the Brown, if the Browns can't make the playoffs, I would like to see the Colts make the playoffs because, you know, they're, they're, not, they're, not a, they're not a bad team. I don't have anything against the Colts. Like, some teams I just hate. I don't have anything against the Colts. Uh, I like Andrew Locke. I, if the Colts won a Super Bowl, I'd be hyped. But I don't want them to win. 
in week 16. The Titans and the Colts both need to lose in week 16. Uh, the Titans play the Redskins. Uh, I believe the Redskins right now are led by Mark Sanchez, so that's not looking good for me. And the Colts need to beat the Giants. Giants, also not the greatest team ever. Uh, they finished a little bit stronger than they began, but that that's that's looking tough. <laughs> that that might be the the toughest. Miami losing, you know, my, Miami losing one of two. That's tough. But Tennessee and the Colts both needing to lose. That's also tough because they're not playing. Why can't any of these teams be playing some real good teams? Like the only game that I'm expecting to go our way is the Chargers Ravens game because the Chargers are good. But like none of these games are going our way. The Skins need to beat the Titans and the Giants need to beat the Colts. We need that to happen in week week 16. My my week 16 favorite teams are going to be the Browns, Chargers, Redskins and uh the Browns, Chargers, Redskins and Giants. Those are my teams of week 16. We need them to win. Step number five, in week 17, the Titans and the Colts play, and in week 17, the Titans and the Colts need to tie. They need to end their game in a tie. I don't care if it's 0-0, I don't care if it's 50-50, I don't care if it's 21-21, the Titans and the Colts need their season to end in a tie. A tie started the season for the Browns, a tie can continue it. But it needs to happen for us to make the playoffs. And that's it, really. That's all that needs to happen. You know, it doesn't sound like much, (laughs) really, because there's not that many steps left. I mean, all we need to do is win out. Miami needs to lose one game. Baltimore needs to lose out. Tennessee and the Colts need to lose in Week 16. And then they need to tie in Week 17. That's, That's improbable. It's very, very unlikely. The tie is really what sets it off. That stupid tie at the end. I can't... That sucks. It's, 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 not, it's not likely. I'm definitely not going to say it's likely. But it's not impossible. There's been a lot of hope with the Browns this season. They've had a lot of things go well for them. I mean, I didn't even realize they had won four out of five until I saw that stat pop up after their win against Denver. Like, it, it, it hasn't dawned on me. That the Browns finally have a competitive football team because of Baker Mayfield. And, you know, even if this year doesn't end up being our year to make the playoffs, which it probably won't, even though it might still be able to, next year, I I am almost willing to bet the Cleveland Browns will be a competitive team in the NFC and the uh, AFC playoffs. I can um, I'm I I am so confident that the Browns are gonna be one of the better teams in the NFL next year. They have such a good young core that's all under contract. You've got Baker Mayfield, who's going to be a top five quarterback in the NFL. Maybe not next year, but eventually he will be. Nick Chubb, who's an incredibly good running back. Duke Johnson, versatile playmaker. Jarvis Landry, Miles Garrett. There's so much talent on this team, and they play well together. If you can get the right coach in here, whether it be Greg Williams, Lincoln Riley... Josh McDaniels, whomever, if you can get the right coach in here, keep all this together, the Browns are going to have a lot of playoff games to look forward to in the future. It might just not be this year, and so be it. I mean, if they make the playoffs, that would be absurd. That'd be like 30 for 30 level stuff. But if they don't make it, I'm not going to be like as sad as I was last year when we finished with no wins. I mean, think about that. The Browns have a chance to... Uh, have eight more wins than they did last year. That's that's an that's a crazy improvement. So I mean, no matter what happens, we still have Baker. Baker's magic is still there. I mean, if he pulls off a miracle and gets the Browns to the playoffs this year, then we can just induct him into the Hall of Fame right then because that's that's Hall of Fame level magic. But yeah, so that's that's uh that's basically it. The Browns still can make the playoffs. Uh, I hope they make it. That would be really cool. <laughs> if the Browns could make the playoffs, I would be happy. But it's very unlikely. And a uh, hot take, Browns are going to win the Super Bowl next year. But yeah, so let me know in the comments. Do you think the Browns can make it to the playoffs this year? And if not, do you think they'll make it next year? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. And I'll see you in my next episode. Goodbye.